Sovereign citizens believe they're above the law. That is, you do not have to have license to drive a car. Yes, you do. No, you do not. But what happens when they try to outsmart no-nonsense cops who are ready to serve up the hard truth? You're under arrest. Open the door. Step out. You're getting hosed. Step out now. Step out now. Step out. You're under arrest. Step out of the vehicle now. Step out of the vehicle now. OC, OC, OC. Here are four cases of this, starting with this very annoying sovereign citizen. Lane violation. No, you that's not a crime. Yes, ma'am, no, it is. No, not. You don't know case law. Yes, ma'am, I do. Who was pulled over for a simple improper lane change, but ended up getting punished for a whole lot more. Those are crystals. Because you, it's my life. Listen, because. what he's got. He thinks that's crystal meth. I have a lot of crystals in my car. I crushed that up. That was on a necklace. And it broke. He's stupid. Although sovereign citizens love to be heard while spewing their rubbish, this woman was impossible to hear at first because she refused to put her windows down. I, Ma'am, okay, I'm so having I'm a hard time uh, hearing. Originally. originally. American, American. Do you have any ID with you? Okay. Do you have a license with you? And after weirdly preferring to shout at the officer, the woman went on the typical sovereign citizen routine and got even more annoying. There you go. Okay. I'm not going to car, and you had no right to pull me over, so there you go. Look at that. I don't want to talk. What's your, do you have your driver's license with you? Leave me alone. What's your name? This one doesn't. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. The back of this car doesn't matter right now. Are you from Georgia? If her fictitious ID was to be believed, then this woman seemingly just arrived on Earth under the feet of a bird on a bright sunny day. But the officer expectedly read no meaning to her ID and continued questioning, forcing her to make a typical sovereign citizen request that she would eventually regret. I am a supervisor, ma'am. No, you're not. Yes, ma'am. I'm a Corporal Kang. You are who? I'm Corporal Kang. I am a supervisor on duty. I don't know what that is. No, I've never seen this one in my life. Oh, you, hey, it's got my picture on there. It's got my name on there. And it's got my license plate. Yes, ma'am. It's got my name on there. It's got my license plate. It's got my name on there. Corporal Kang seemed level-headed and polite, all traits that didn't work too well with sovereign citizens. So the woman thought she could walk all over him without any consequence. But once she tried to drive off after warnings not to, she soon realized that Corporal Kang wasn't playing games. Ma'am, ma'am, step out of the car. No, I don't. No, don't no, step out of my car. You, you're step get, out. Move out of the way. I'm going to get out and move you're gonna out. Step I'm going to kick your ass. You no, you're just not going to you're gonna, me and tell me what to do. You're going to step out. Move face out of car. my way. Go to cuff her. All right, you're, you're being detained. They, hey, they're hey, stop. Me and he's trying to stop. hold me real tight. I'm not a resisting. And I'm not All right, let go of your hand. Let go of your phone. Wait a minute. Let no, me no, put no. my phone down. You're not just going to take my okay. cell phone. Okay. Let me put my phone in the car. Double cuff. No, no. Let me speak to the officer. But he's right no, here. You know, right he's right trying to take my phone. 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 I didn't speak. He knows you're there. He's yep. trying to be Just, nasty. No, 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 no. Yes, you are. No, no, Stop no, no, before no. these cuffs. I ain't got nothing to do with you. He had no business coming back or pulling me over. I need you to go forward. I'm Please. tired of this. And they're going, and they in trouble. So you, I, I want you to write the all fee right, schedule all right, all right. and do everything. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not a United States citizen, and that's it. It wasn't much of a surprise that the female had a sovereign citizen elder on the phone telling her what to do, or that she had a fee schedule that she would charge the officers based on the length of the stop. But what she did next was something no one would have expected to happen. Don't play okay. with me. No, I'm mad. I don't like that. Well, you know, I don't have to, to have a lot. Listen, slow down I know so case law. 
All right. That's what I Hold do. On. I'm Officer Fenderson. Okay. I'm and officer. I'm pissed. I don't have time you, for you this. You pissed. What's your, right. what's, your, what's your. I understand that you pissed. Hey, right. Did, did it, <laughs> Hopefully it's it's not it's not it's not not that bad. What'd you get pulled over for? I was back there in the back lot because I'm homeless. I was a truck driver for 25 years and my boss didn't fix the brakes and I didn't want to kill nobody, so I ran head on into a mountain. I got a C7 damage disc that poked out of my neck and I got a herniated disc. Okay. And they left me temporarily totally disabled and they cut my check and stuff out so I had got an attorney and my doctor told me to get one because they said that I don't have no muscle mass and my body's deteriorating so I had to sleep in the car because I lost everything and yes I smoke weed because that's the only thing I can take for pain. In under a minute the woman emotionally narrated her entire life to the officer and while he most definitely wasn't too excited to hear all that getting the woman emotional was a good idea if they wanted her to comply with them. But as you might expect, the exact opposite happened. Ma'am, what is your name? That's my name. It's What's on your... my ID. I don't have to have a regular ID. That's my name, and I'm. that's it. That's my what? ID. No? Are you... That's my name. Are you from Georgia? That's my name. Are you from Georgia? No, I'm not. Where are you from? I'm from, where does where that say right there? American American, that's what it says. Right, that's my ID. I had no police officer have a problem with that. Okay. I've showed it to other officers and that's my ID. I just got pulled over the other day. That's my ID. Okay. Whose car is this? What? Whose vehicle is Does this? Does it matter? It ain't stolen. It ain't stolen. It's not but your I need, business. I'm I, not telling you nothing. Figure it out and leave me alone. I need to find out no, who you are. It don't matter. That's who I am on do that you, ID. Do you have a valid driver's license? That's what I use. I don't have to have a driver's license to maneuver. That is, you do not have to have license to drive a car. Yes, you do. No, you do not. Yeah, but no, you do not. I'm not a United Go States for. citizen. What citizen I'm are you? I'm not a United doing? States citizen. The woman was an American citizen, although she appeared to strongly believe she wasn't. Her entire act was over once the officer discovered that she had an arrest warrant from the state of Minnesota. Right. Hey, Joyce, so you're under arrest. I don't care. Uh, I don't have nothing else to say. Because you're under arrest. I want under... the bond. I don't, all I want is the bond. I want the bond. You the fruck and the bond. That's it. That's what the judge is going to have to give me is the bond over this because I am the uh, beneficiary and he's the administrator. So let's go. Right. They want it to happen. All the weed that you have on your pants. Yes, get it out of my pants. And I want it back. Uh, no, you're not getting it back. Oh, oh, yeah, I am. Her weed was confiscated, and after a search of her vehicle uncovered a substance appearing to be crystal meth, she spent two days in jail before posting bail. Her arrest was exhausting, yet non-violent, but the amount of force used in the next case almost blinded two sovereign citizens. You're under arrest. Step out of the vehicle now. Step out of the vehicle now. OC, OC, OC. It all started on the night of January 15th, 2023, when a minor traffic accident occurred between two vehicles. After that, Brian Jordan, a passenger in one of the vehicles, walked up to the other vehicle and pepper sprayed the driver. Unknowingly to him, an officer saw all that happened and chased after Brian and his wife, Judith, who were very, very uncooperative. Yeah, see, they're not yeah. identifying themselves. She rolls her window up, refuses to talk to me. He tells me, forget you, I ain't identifying myself to you. And that's where we're at now. Okay. He, Damage this, on that vehicle? Just a mirror, touching mirrors. Um, sheriff's deputy, I'm not sure where he, he came from. He must yep. have been behind me or close to me because then he comes down here. They refuse to identify and then he calls supervisor in. So she's refusing to identify herself. As well as there's a passenger in the back. He's there recording as well as the gentleman in the passenger and that's side. That's plate, right? Correct. The couple allegedly assaulted a driver, had fictitious license plates, and were uncooperative with officers. They also had a 15-year-old boy in the car, so as much as the officers wanted them out of the vehicle, they had to be as diplomatic as possible. But diplomacy didn't work too well in these types of situations. Hi there, my name is Sergeant Thurston. Ma'am, I'm talking to you, you're the driver. Ma'am, I'm asking you to roll the window down to speak with me. You're the driver of this vehicle. Can you open the door so I can talk to you? 
Open the door. Open the door. Ma'am, I'm trying to speak with you. Okay. One second here. Ma'am, I'm trying to speak with you. You're the driver of the vehicle. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm asking you to make contact with me on the other side of the vehicle so I can talk with you, okay? Ma'am, can you step out of the vehicle so I can speak with you? Ma'am, I'm asking you to speak with me. Ma'am, I will be breaking the window and asking, pulling you out of the vehicle if you don't cooperate. We are allowed to be Ma'am, I'm asking you to open the door on that side. constitutional right. Do you not understand that? Ma'am, I'm asking you for an identification. And protect. Now. Open the door. I'm going to break the window. I'm going to break the window and assist you out of the vehicle. You either open the door, open the door and speak to me. Open the door and speak to me. The couple wasn't going anywhere because their car was cornered at all sides by the officer's patrol vehicles. So all they could do was try to reason with the officers to at least get their 15-year-old home in peace. But instead, they made sure he was going to have a very traumatizing evening. I'm asking you to open the door and speak to me. I'm not going to continue asking you. I'm going to break your window and assist you out of the vehicle. I'm asking you to open the, the door. Ma'am, I need a driver's license. At this point, it was clear breaking into the vehicle was the only other option the officers had. And to do this, they called for more units. 47. We have another uh, unit can assist down here. Spiked the car's tires. I don't want them to take off, you know what I'm saying? I don't. So, and then no, I haven't seen I, them. Hey, I got stinger spikes in the back of my car. I can just come right up Go ahead, it wouldn't hurt. Blocked the road to traffic. 47, 1187, would just shut the east, uh, westbound traffic down right there. Shut the block off. Geared up for the break-in. We have a uh, sovereign citizen type person. Yeah, one. Push that right into the window, it'll, smash, All right. it'll shatter it. Perfect. All right, so here's the plan. We got three people in the car. Uh, Hey, let's uh you want me to shut it down? I want you to shut it down, yep. 47, 1187. Would just shut the uh, westbound traffic down right there. Shut the block off. And when the plan was set and the time was right, the officers gave the sovereign citizens exactly what they deserved. You're under arrest, open the door. Step out, you're getting hosed! Step out now! Step out now! Step out! What are you doing? You're under arrest. Step out of the vehicle now. Step out of the vehicle now. OC, OC, OC! OC, OC! 47, 
After getting served with spicy karma, Brian Jordan was arrested and charged with assault, obstruction, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. At the same time, Judith was charged with obstruction. Their 15-year-old son was released to family members. Jordan and Judith were arrested that same night, but it took half a year for the next sovereign citizen to get what she deserved. You never got a plate for the car either, right? No, and I'm not, I, it's not never registered. Okay. It's not registered. You're not driving, you're traveling, same I'm thing traveling, as last time. traveling, yes, you know that. Okay. On March 3, 2023, an officer pulled over a vehicle after noticing that it had a fake tag. He approached the driver only to immediately grasp what was going on. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? I'm Officer Douglas, Korea Police. The reason for the stop is you don't have a tag on your vehicle. Right. It's not. I don't. I don't contract with the state of Ohio. Okay. Um, I'm a private national. Okay, so you're a sovereign citizen thing? Well, no, it's not a sovereign citizen. Are you Moorish? Yes, I am. Okay. Right, do you have your travel document or what do you have? Okay. Where do you stay at? Um, In Elyria? No, I don't. Okay. What's your current address? Um, I don't really. I dot a mile in Berea at... Okay. The cop wasted no time in identifying the woman as a sovereign citizen. She did, however, surprise the officer by mentioning she had documents, but as you might expect, her documents were of no use. I do have my, uh, all my information right here. Okay. Do you mind if I see that? Yes. And I also have my Morris. Well, it's, it should be right there, all right there. Yeah, right, have you ever had an Ohio ID before? I don't I don't contract with the state of Ohio. So have you ever had an Ohio ID before? No, I don't contract with it. Okay. All right, we'll the woman had no recognizable document of her or the vehicle, and by now the officer knew the drill and didn't press the woman further. Instead, he went into his car and became proactive. Yeah, this is a sovereign citizen. I don't know if you want to head up here. I'm sure they're going to request the boss at some point. And after that, he ran the female's name written on her Moorish ID through the system's database. Unsurprisingly, it didn't come out with anything, and it was at that moment that his higher-up arrived. Sovereign citizen. Moorish American. I think I got a real info off a paper that she showed me. Dami Cattell. Allegedly. She doesn't live there. She's... I don't know what the word she said. Something. She has a fee schedule for any time she's stopped by law enforcement and bothered. Fee schedule? Yeah, I don't know where you want to show. Right across the back. Right the back. Got it. Fee schedule. So we should charge her for her time? Or no. She charges us. She charges us. So together, the officers approached the sovereign citizen. She previously asked for a higher up like a sergeant, but instead got someone way higher than that. I know that the Supreme Court law states that I have a right to travel just like I'm traveling. Supreme Court law says that, not me. I didn't say it. I didn't make it up. This is Supreme Court law. I have it right here in my thing. It's Supreme Court law. It's not something that I made up. It's just Supreme Court law. Okay, and I fully understand that you believe that. Okay? No, I, it, it isn't what you, I believe. It's it what is. the Supreme Court law states. Ma'am, I'm telling you. Okay, could you call your sergeant, please? Ma'am, I'm the chief of police. Okay, well, are you the sergeant? I'm the chief of police. It's my department. I'm the head of the agency. Okay, where's the, the sergeant? I, I would be above this. Oh, okay. Well, so that's why I came over here to, to try and help. I don't want to know. I think we settle this as easy as possible. Yeah, that's fine. You're pretty involved. That's why I thought I'm going to come over here. I'm going to have a conversation with you. Okay. This. I'm a student of this. I, I love to hear this stuff. Okay. I love to talk to you. Okay. Where we're at, though, is because of Ohio. Ohio. Mm -hmm. Right, but I'm that's not conducting commerce. I, I have it right here at Supreme Court Law. And I know what you're reference. I've seen it. Unfortunately, that's not the full context of the law. Oh. Uh, oh, this is all. I have all of it in here. The woman somehow didn't know that a chief of police was multiple ranks ahead of a sergeant and made a huge blunder with that one. But rather fortunately for her, though, the chief wanted to reason with her and try to ease the process. But this is where things took a rather unexpected turn. Not valid, no warrants. Not valid? Yes. I swear. What about your tickets? Okay. okay. Send her on her way. Send her on her way. Cool. You go right. with that? Yep. 
Your court date will be March 24th at 9 in the morning in Berea. Um, by signing it, you're not admitting guilt. Oh, I'm not signing it. Okay. All right. The woman had no registration, no insurance, fake plates, and a suspended driver's license, but somehow was getting sent off with just a ticket. This was probably the luckiest day of her life, and it was even more shocking that she still thought she was right in all of this. You can, you can drop off understand I don't have the right to tell no, you no, no, to no. travel without them. No, it's not about me, me um, you giving me a right to travel. It's about me giving you the information that we are on file with the Department of Justice, so you can see that we are recognized with the United States. Unsurprisingly, though, she failed to appear on three of her court dates and went missing after that. But fortunately for the officers, they found her six months later, and this time she would get what was rightfully hers. Hold my mom, CJ. Yeah. Let me lock my door. Okay, hold on. What's wrong with you? Just grab it. Okay. What, can I lock these so they don't turn up on you? Oh, give me my phone! Oh, hell no. I have to call my mother. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Never, no. You never got a plate for the car either, right? No, and I'm not, I, it's not never registered. Got a it's not registered. You're not driving, you're traveling, same I'm thing traveling, as last time. I'm traveling, yes, you know that. Okay. You know that. Okay. You can't have stuff in the back seat, okay? This is mine. Okay, I'm not going anywhere with it. You just can't have it on you. Simple as that. Okay. So I can't have my debit card either? Yes, no, I can get everything for you. You just can't have it in the back seat. Why can't I have my keys? Because you can't have anything in the Okay, but I don't want you touching my keys. That's fine, but you can't have it. Okay, but I need to call my mom so she can come pick me up. Well, you're not getting picked up. You're in jail. Okay, but I can still get out. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. so I need her to come pick me up. Okay, and we can make that arrangement when it gets there, okay? Off me. Ma'am, you need to relax, okay? No, you need to get the f off me. Okay. You know, God well, I ain't in your jurisdiction. You just want to Jurisdiction. What jurisdiction do we have? I'm not in your jurisdiction. Are you in the city of Berea? You're not even supposed to be f***ing touching me. You're in the city of Berea. She was arrested for her warrants and charged with resisting arrest. But the next suspect in this video didn't even believe he was a sovereign citizen to begin with. Huh? I know, I know the routine on the sovereign citizens. I am okay. not one of them. <laughs> You're not? Oh, hell no. I okay. Don't, I don't agree with them. But for someone who seemingly disliked sovereign citizens, the man sure did act like one when he was pulled over because his license tag read church not for hire. How's it going, man? You all right? Yes, sir. You lost? No, sir. Well, we found it. It's okay. where the Crown Vic is. Okay. Are you working with like a church or something or what? Negative. My name is Church. Okay. I got you. So is this like, what is this vehicle for then? It's for me. Okay. I just noticed it's got, it doesn't have like an actual license plate on the back. It just has your... Is That's it like right. a business vehicle or what? No, according to the law, Title uh -huh. 47, I don't have to have a registered tag if I'm not conducting commerce. If I'm just uh, in my personal activities, I don't need a tag. If I'm doing commerce, then I need a tag. Okay. Well, it's got like a, let me look at the plate real fast. Uh, you got two statutes back there uh, as well. Those are, those, those are these statutes. Why does it say not for hire on it? By law, it has to say that. If, if if I'm conducting commerce, then I'd have to say for hire. Okay. If I'm not for hire, the law say I have to post it on my vehicle as not for hire. Okay, do you have valid insurance on it? Uh, I'm not required to answer that Okay. by law, but if you want to write me a ticket, I'll go ahead and take the ticket. Okay. That way your day will go by faster and mine. Well, do you just have an ID? All I'm trying to make sure is you have a driver's license and stuff like that, and I'll get you out of here. Well, um, I don't need a driver's license to drive. Okay. Because that's for people that's conducting commerce. Okay. The problem is they don't tell y'all that, and they don't tell the citizens that. It is in law, but the problem is when we get out here, uh huh. y'all don't know and we don't know. Okay. The law do say those who are conducting commerce have to have a driver's license. But if I'm in my regular conveyance, I already took the law down. Uh -huh. Title 68-701 says I have a right to travel. Okay. Church was most definitely a sovereign citizen, and although he didn't think so, the officers still had a job to do. Step out of the car. Not a problem. 
Okay. Try to put your hands around behind your back. Oh. Put your hands behind your back. Sorry, Try to put your hands behind your back. Okay. Just gonna detain you right now until you figure problem. out who you are, okay? Okay, hey, no problem. Do you have any ID, man? Do I have to be in cuffs, though? Yeah, yeah just, if you don't have a driver's license present, usually we put people in handcuffs. So okay. You have to have a driver's license to operate a vehicle in the state of Oklahoma. Do you have any weapons on you? Negative. Okay, walk back here with me for a second. I promise you I'm not no sovereign citizen. Free. Huh? I know, I know the routine on the sovereign citizens. I am okay. not one of them. <laughs> You're not? Oh, hell no. I okay. Don't, I don't agree with them. So so, so what what are you then? If we had to put you in a... That's a, a telephone. Okay. If I had to put you in a category, what would I put you um, in? It's, the reason why I'm not like them is because I have the utmost respect for y'all. Okay. However, they think they're above the law. Me, I just know it. That's the only difference. Like, okay. uh, where the sovereign citizens go wrong, uh -huh. like, uh, well, like when y'all get off work, yeah. it's not that y'all are sovereign. It's just you in your own capacity. That's all. Okay. That's all. Hey, if you put your back on that door over there and just kick your feet across the seat, it'll be a lot more comfortable. I appreciate you. Yep. While Church's logic was flawed and he had conflicting views with the officers, one thing that stood out was the fact that he had a strong respect for them. So there's three levels of sovereign citizens, and he's not an extremist. He's a level two. And that wouldn't change even though he was sitting handcuffed in the back of a police car. All right, so you said your last name was Mr. Church, right? No, uh, that's what they call me. Let me give you my, uh, my, my government. Okay. <laughs> my name is Brian Jackson. Jackson? Yes, sir. Brian. Okay. Is it, how do you spell your first name? J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Okay, your last, or your first name, I mean. B-R-Y-A-N. Okay. And then what's your date of birth? Um, for the government date of birth they gave you? That I'd rather not give. Why is that? Because I've committed no crime, my friend. Well, you've got to have even, a plate. I didn't up. even do anything to get pulled over. Well, here's the deal. You've got to have a plate on the back of that. That's and, and that's what I was telling you. I'll go ahead and take the ticket and go to court. Well, and, and this is what me. this is what we're facing, though. Yes, if you don't have, you cannot take a VIN plate or alter a VIN in any way on a vehicle. That's a felony. You By know, law, right? when it's my property. Now, and, and I don't want to debate with you. I don't want to think you, I don't want you to think I'm disrespecting you in no way. That's why I'm saying, whatever y'all need to do, go ahead and do it. There, sir, I don't need insurance. Okay. And that's what I'm telling you. I can quote all the laws to you if you want, or you can just. Yeah, to have it on your own private property, but if you operate it on a city street that's governed by our laws, you have to follow the laws in which it is. What's your name, buddy? Sergeant. Seth. Sergeant. Where the sovereign citizens go wrong is they sit here and they debate with y'all all day. They watch too many YouTube videos. They, they, they do, the and I'm not one of them. It's just I do read the law, and I'm not here to say I'm above or under nobody. But the law do say only vehicles that are conducting commerce have to be insured and have driver's license. The word driver means one that's employed to drive. So what is your government date of birth? Man, y'all just gonna have to take me to jail. I'll just have to wait for my day in court because I'll incriminate myself by answering these things. Jackson's vehicle, Vin, was tampered with, and he had a suspended driver's license. These were all punishable offenses, but even the news that he was going to jail didn't change his attitude towards the officers. Here's the deal. This is what my lieutenant said, who just talked to you a second ago. Um, you have a suspended driver's license in the state of Oklahoma, or it's been revoked. Um, I've already talked to them. Okay. Well, it's still showing that it's revoked in our system. And do you know who a Michael Baker is? Uh, he's the co-owner. Of the vehicle? He's the guy I, I paid and he's co-signed for me. Oh, there you are. Brian Jackson. Yep. Yeah, he co-signed for me. Okay. All right. So I have to give you a ticket for your driver's license, the tag. Um, my lieutenant is wanting me to put a state charge on you for altering the VIN on the vehicle. Um, and then we're gonna have to impound it, so. Please, officer, don't. Please. I have the most up respect for the law. I understand, I'm just telling you that's what my lieutenant's telling me, and he's a supervisor over me, so. 
Jackson was charged with driving without a license and felony VIN tampering and asked to pay a $150 fine after the most peaceful encounter between the police and a sovereign citizen.